gossip. <laughs> What's up, world? You're tuned into 423 FM. You already know we've got you covered with your daily dose of celebrity drama. Now let's get into it. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to The 423. On Monday's episode of The Real, there was some clear tension on set as Amanda Seals talked about Martin Luther King Jr. and whether or not he'd be proud of how our society has progressed since he passed. While she was listing some issues that still exist today just as they did 50 years ago, Jeannie interrupted her and, well, Amanda wasn't having it. So, here's the clip. I think Dr. King would look at today and say, well, it ain't much different, you know? I think, <laughs> I think he would say that, that in terms of our standards, in terms of the way that we're interacting with each other, we still have a prison industrial complex. We still have racism. We still have things built into our laws and into our constitution. Mm -hmm. Even worse mental health than before, higher suicide rates. It's specifically about race, what he's talking about, he, things have not changed. While Amanda's talking about how racism in America is still very much thriving, Jeannie interjects to add her two cents, saying that mental health and suicide rates have also gotten worse. But Amanda shuts her down without hesitation, once again clarifying that she's talking specifically about race. Technically, Jeannie could have been saying that mental health and suicide rates are getting worse for people of color, though I don't think she was. But even if that was the case, there was no reason for her to interrupt. It's not like there was any type of pause or silence to fill, Amanda was in the middle of a word when Jeannie interrupted her to add things that were completely irrelevant. Like, why would anyone think to bring up mental health in a conversation about Dr. King? It's not relevant in the slightest. She clearly felt some type of way when Amanda shut her down, but she's the one who spoke out of turn. Jeannie really Gina Rodriguez Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Everyone's talking about racism, and Jeannie took it upon herself to bring up mental health. Stop changing the subject. Even if what Jeannie had to add to the conversation was about race, she should have just kept quiet and let a black woman speak on a subject she's clearly more educated on, or at the very least, let her finish talking first. Another situation that went down this very same episode was Adrian reading a comment on Instagram from a fan who complained about Lonnie and Amanda always bringing up race on the show. Can we get at comic Lonnie Love and Amanda Seals to shut up about making everything about race? Wow. Not everyone is out to get a sister rolling eyes emoji. It's so frustrating watching every topic be made into an overweight issue <gasps> or race. Wow. We get it. You're black and proud. Good for you, but not everyone is out to get you to stop making everything about race. Shaking my head emoji. Reading that for the first time. That was just so hard and unnecessary. That was a Can really hard and unnecessary to, to even read that comment. I, yeah. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. it because this show is based on women of color. Yes. We, If you can't take two minutes... Yep. Of us talking about race. Of it, Miss you. That's something is wrong with you then. And, and you know what? We all talk about race. In the clip, Lonnie simply says that they shouldn't have read that comment on air. And on Instagram, she commented back to another fan reiterating the same sentiment. She wrote, That comment should not have been read, sis. I've been doing this for seven seasons, and you all know good and damn well we don't just talk about race and Lizzo. I have every right to be upset. And I completely agree with Lonnie. I don't understand why the producers or whoever else would even think that comment should be discussed on TV, but it's ignorant. And the whole point of the reel is that they have women of color on the show so that they can discuss issues of race. And the reality of it is that in 2020, everything is about race. And if you're ignorant enough to think that it's not, then that's just your privilege. I would never have the audacity to tell a black woman, man, or whoever else that they need to stop bringing up race because that's nobody's business but theirs. But on top of this comment being disrespectful, I honestly can't believe they had Adrian read it on air. I feel like whoever's running this show is trying hard to make these women clash, and it shows. Whether you like Amanda Seals or not, she gets under a lot of people's skin, and I feel like the whole reason they brought her on was in hopes of starting more arguments and drama, just like we saw on Monday. Anyway, I want to know what you guys think about this. Do you think that Jeannie was out of line for interrupting Amanda? Plus, do you like Amanda being on the show, or should they just have kept the co-host as they were? 
Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Subscribe to The Fortune Thief for more videos. And if you like this one, just give it a quick thumbs up. That is it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.